rust right here so I'm gonna fix that today one I'm gonna use one 20 first grade then 20 grade then 320 so I'm gonna just lightly lightly just like this I'm gonna do only do just do this area I don't want to pass it to the house. You can use your hand too, really. Just hold it like this. Just. You don't need to. There, give it a good clean, like uh, whatever, whatever you have. Just clean your you before I put the party. So, it's nice and clean. To mix the body filler, you need one, one of these. So on the hardener. Cream hardener right here and the uh, body filler. There's a lot of varieties for the body filler. And, uh, I think this is a, this is okay for me. I use all the time. And we use two, two of these. Okay. And one. Uh, this one I I just cut it the uh, cutting board. This is a really thin. Cutting board, I just cut it in the value too. So, when you first open this, just don't open it and just open it by like this. And there's air in the inside, and you have to take the air out. This air out, see? So, tie it off and mix it up very goodly. Next, I'm gonna open this this party for body filler. Okay. Now open this. After you open, uh, see this. You have to like mix it up very good because all the resin is on top of the pipe so you have to mix it up very good to bound to the body like this you just need a little bit for this job don't put like too much of this if you, if you put too much the body filler you need, to, you need to send too much lot of sanding so if you if you do the less body filler you have to send less and this one is ratio is like like one golf ball and a dime size like a dime this is kind of golf ball size I think all together just dime size like this should be enough for this There. After that, just mix it up with this. Mix it up good. Make sure. 
sure this this came to one color everything so the color changing should be everything is one color uh, you're gonna have like two to three minutes for this after you mix it up start with 220 120 you see I didn't go in here okay, go in there just stay try to stay in this area so I just did like this um, here like this just there's a line you need to the line straight um, after that let's go with 220 I'm gonna start with two points. Two points again. This is uh, ready for a primer. 100% alcohol, or you can put the 52. Just 
Dude. For a small job, I'm gonna use this can. This is really very good for the small job. Just shake very good. You can shake very good. Just cover. You need to cover this 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 party thing first. Right now, we can uh, put our second coat. But this is after uh, after the primer. So I need I'm gonna take this uh, all the tape tape this one you see I'm not came up to here I'm gonna move a little bit little bit I'm gonna move a little bit farther than this so everything is a little bit see Good enough. I'm gonna I'm gonna send it with the 600 grit. Uh, I'll do the dry because I just I just did the prime. I mean I put the primer just not too long ago. So that's why I'm gonna put the dry sanding in this area to, because the paint is go up to here. Is there any shiny spot? And I think paint not gonna stick it, so we need to take the all the shiny shinies out from this area until the paints go. This, this, this. So I did already. I scratched it already. So I just I'm not sure you guys see. It's right here. Don't go too far. This. This yes. I'm gonna shoot the paint right there. So, you have to move the tape. See this little far away to blind. I'm gonna blind up to there. So, you need a space for the blinding. Black. Look nice. Thank you for watching guys. If you like the video consider subscribing. Thank you.